Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome back to Follower Sketch February 24. Today we are on day four, which is this sketch from Creative Scrapbooker magazine, I believe. And it is this one here, which has four three by four photos, a journaling element and then a embellishment and then lots of pattern papers, some scalloped or decorative edges and a title. So that is today's sketch. As always, don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find the link for the Facebook group, Scrapping Reflections. You will also find the playlist which you can just simply click and follow along everybody creating here on YouTube, including Sandy who created this awesome series. So today is the first day of the page kits that I, that I have created. And you can find all the details of those in the preparing for sketchy season video that posted on the 1st of February. And today we have a title and lots of embellishments and lots of different things. This was quite a while ago now, so I forgot what I've put in here. <laughs> so let's see what we've got. We have got some puffy stickers. We have got a puffy title, Remember and Unforgettable. We've got some more puffy stickers, so we've got all of those, so let's pop them there. We've got some strips of pattern paper, a couple of mini envelopes, and lots of gold foiled ephemera. So I'm going to pop them there. Oh, they're a bit shiny, shiny, so let's pop them there. And then I also have this pattern paper from Vicky Boutin Fernwood. This is the meadow paper. And we're going to use this peachy pinky distressed side. And then we also have this and this. So we have got Jen Hadfield, the Avenue Flower Drive. And we have got Jen Hadfield reaching out here for you. I love this floral, but I do have another one. We are going to use this and I think I think I thought I would do something like this. I'm not sure. Can't remember now. But let's play about. So to start off, I'm gonna cut the branding strip off these pieces of paper. I'm gonna trim this down to 10 by 12, and then we will come back and get this assembled. So that is all the papers trimmed, so I am going to get some of these adhered down. So we're going to start off with this Jen Hadfield paper, and I am going to attach this Jen Hadfield paper. So I have simply trimmed this to 10 inch, I kept it at 12 inch. So let's pop that in the middle roughly. As always, we are eyeballing because we embrace the one. Can we just go with it? Then we have a Vicky Putin paper. Again, that is just going to go in the middle roughly. So about there. And then we have these two strips of a Paige Evans garden shop paper, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm sure it is. And these are 1 by 12. And I'm going to place those over the join there. And there, just to bring in a, another colour. And that is our background. We have stuck reasonably close to the sketch for that. The only difference being is I have not scalloped this border. That is partly because I forgot and partly because I don't feel like we need it. Now we do have a lot of photos. I was potentially going to stretch this to, to a double page, but I don't think we will. So these are pictures of the Queen and front pages from when she sadly passed away. So, what I think we're going to do 
is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got 11. So let's see. We could get. Obviously, we could get 6 on here. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is we. We may end up doing another of these kind of layouts. Maybe we'll switch that around or something to make it a double page at some point. But I think we'll use those ones for now. So to start us off, let me put some adhesive on here. Our photos are going to go, let me see. So we're going to have a gap to the left of the photo, but they are going to go right up to the top of the page. So we're going to have a gap in the middle and a gap to the side, but flush against the top. And I think we will keep one of our spaces free. And now, let me just... clarify but I believe yep yeah. then obviously these are four inches so I am going flush against the photos like so all the way down <clears throat> and then for this one we will have it about the there we go so that is the basic layout of this page and I love it. Now what I thought for the title, it is at an angle or going upwards here. I have two titles or rather I have two words, unforgettable and remember. And I do want to use both of them because I think they are both great words to describe the Queen. She was an incredible person and did a lot for our country, of course. So it was really sad when she passed away and it affected me more than I thought it would, to be honest. Um, so I, I do want to do an album about it. It's just going to be a slow process. I'm not rushing to do it, but I will do pages such as this and then add them to an album and then eventually we will have an album all about the Queen. Okay, and I will maybe make a mini book. So what I thought for the title, taking inspiration from the title being here on the sketch, I'm going to have one here. And I am going to place it on this patterned strip here. And then we're going to have the other one, which is remember, on the opposite side. So we'll have this one coming up here. And I just think that sort of balances it quite nicely and I like the way that looks. I also have these two puffy stickers which I would like to use. So I think I'm going to have this one over here and then we're going to cut that there. And then continue it after that G all the way along there. I may need to add a little bit more adhesive to that. There we go. And then for this one, I quite like the idea of adding it over here, but mm, might be a bit much actually. So we're going to go off piste from the sketch and we're going to do our own thing. So on the sketch, the embellishment cluster is here. I've just swapped 
that around and then I want to layer up some of these pieces that I have pulled in. Now we have a mini envelope. I am not going to put anything in it. It's merely something for a bit of decoration. And what I thought would be kind of cute is if I sort of use it for floral elements to come out of. So we've got <clears throat> some leaves and different bits like that. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. I can't tell you who has manufactured these pieces. I think it's Pretty Little Studio, but I wouldn't like to be certain of that. They weren't in any original packaging when I pulled them out. Because clearly I decided not to keep it in the packaging. And I don't know why, but I did. Then I think we'll use one of these to pop that there. So then we've got ourselves a little thing going on here. And I'm going to continue building up this as a little cluster. So we've got a floral that we can pop in there. Then let's use this leaf down here and this red. Some of these are Pink Fresh Studio. I do remember that. We've got this quote. What does it say? There is always something to be thankful for. I love that. This isn't working for me. I don't like it. We may use that, we may not. I shall see in a moment. This is also not working for me. So I'm going to take those up. That one's going in the bin. This one I will keep for another layout. And I'm just going to keep building this up. I'm quite liking the way this is looking. So. It's not particularly looking like an envelope now, and that's okay. I don't necessarily need all the paper title to be on show. So I'm thinking that one can go there. Let's use a little bit of foam to give us a bit of dimension to the layout. Just add just a few dots dotted about. Go a couple more and that will do it nicely. Foam dots are a great way of getting dimension and creating a bit of interest to your layout. I am a fan of the foam, whether it be foam dots or fun foam or whatever you want to use. Definitely get your foam out. Get some dimension going. Then we've got one of these gold hearts that I'm going to pop there. Okay. Now up here I am going to use these florals which are from can't remember the name of the collection is it again and again or something it's an American crafts collection I know that much that's all I can remember okay. and then for this one I am going to put a little bit of foam dot on the back even though it is adhesive because it's a puffy sticker there's nothing stopping you adding a little bit of something to give it that dimension. And then we've got two more of these diamonds that can go up here. Okay. 
a lot of these products, especially these florals and some of these gold ones, have been in my stash for quite a while, and I just would, I just haven't used them. And that's one thing I found with the page kits because I am not creating there and then. I am creating a kit for using a bit later. I enjoyed putting stuff in that I probably wouldn't have wouldn't have used otherwise. And I've enjoyed exploring my stash, shopping my stash, whatever you want to call it. I I just I I've never been a big one for page kits, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think, I think, touch wood, I think it's brought my energy and motivation for scrapbooking back, which has been lost for quite a while for various reasons, but I think it, it's coming back, I think it might be coming back. Okay, and then here I think we will use that and again I am going to use a few foam dots on here Just to give it that little bit of interest to our Layout because it's quite a flat layout. There isn't much dimension If I hadn't have used the foam dots pop dots whatever you want to call them so is anybody else playing along with Follower Sketch February or are you just watching along, playing the playlist each day? There is going to be so many videos in that playlist by the end of the month. So if you're somebody who needs something on in the background when you're scrapbooking, I would just hit play on the playlist and it will automatically play video after video. And there is so much inspiration from all the talented ladies and um, a few videos from myself so it's definitely it's an amazing series to be fair and lots of different sketches I do love the sketches Sandy has picked especially all the multi-photo layouts because they are the ones that are sometimes not included in things so it's great to have the opportunity to use so many photos so we're just adding the last couple of bits I've got some of these arrows that I put into this kit and I think it would be quite nice to use them so let's pop one down here And then maybe one up there. Just another detail that pulls it all together. Like so. Now what I've decided is ephemera because I I do have a habit of overestimating what I need. So I have no doubt that ephemera I have put in my kits, I will have things left over. So what I'm going to do is, I've got some new pots, which I will show you in a separate video. And I'm going to leave all the ephemera and sort it out, like florals, words, icons, etc. Journaling elements, whatever it may be. And then use them going forward to create the rest of the page kits for the sketchy series after 30 days of sketches. I don't want to just go ahead and put them back in my stash or throw them in a random drawer. I'd rather make use of them, if that makes sense. So they will get used even if they are not being used on the layout I first intended them to be used. That was a mouthful that didn't need to be. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that in like so, and I think that's going to do it. Now we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, six more photos. So as I say, we will maybe create another layout that matches this sort of aesthetic. But for now, I am going to put these to one side and I'm going to call day four of follower sketch February 24 done. 
here is my layout we've got a cluster down here with the envelope being our base and then the puffy stickers up here and an additional title there i hope you have enjoyed it don't forget to check out the description box for all the links you need and i will see you tomorrow for the next day bye for now